Well, I think in terms of the mending of the global economy, that mending will more likely come from developed markets, and particularly those closely aligned with the United States, than EM which is very much dependent on the cost of dollar funding, which will, do, will continue to squeeze upon those emerging markets throughout 2015. I think India could be one of the success stories of 2015. Obviously there's been reforms that have been put in place that were only just beginning to gain traction in the second half of 2014 and I think many investors whilst acknowledging those US dollar funding squeeze uh, pressures that I mentioned earlier will look to countries like India and other EMs uh, closely aligned to the US uh, to invest in 2015. Yes I think so, I think the measures put in place by OPEC to suppress the price of crude oil. I think those measures have now made their mark. I don't think oil is going to fall much further, particularly with demand continuing to remain relatively strong in the developed world. And because of that, we should see a bounce early in the new year, perhaps up to as high as $75 per barrel during the first quarter. I think there needs to be a mix and the reason I say that is because developed markets are, are likely to do much better in general than emerging markets in 2015. However, those emerging markets who are closely aligned or more closely aligned to continued consumer growth in the United States will continue to do better and of course those are Mexico, uh, Brazil and of course Canada. Well, we look for a moderate appreciation in the US dollar versus the euro, for example, euro dollar falling to 120. But in terms of the dollar index, we see slightly stronger gains, and that's because there will be repatriation out of some emerging market currencies back into the dollar. So the DXY index, for example, the narrow US dollar index, will probably perform by rising about 10% during 2015.